Eat food, as Michael Pollan says, not edible food-like substances out of brightly colored packages and boxes. And he's absolutely right. Eat food like it grew in the garden. Ooh, there's a tomato, there's a green pepper. You like potatoes? Great. Eat potatoes, not potato chips. Okay? You like corn? Great. Eat corn, not corn chips. Okay? Uh, so what do you do? I'm a, I'm a recovering saltaholic. I love salty foods. What do you do? Uh, entertain your tongue. I've heard, had to learn how to entertain my tongue with non-salty flavorings. Uh, boy, we use a lot of lemon juice in our house, and uh, we squeeze lemons on all the greens and uh, find it's a nice substitute, and, and sometimes for, for salt. Uh, there, we've got wonderful flavored vinegars. It really uh, entertains your tongue in a lovely, benign way. Uh, there's lots of different flavored vinegars. Get to know them. But you can make your own salt substitutes. Just Google homemade salt substitutes. And you can make it in your little coffee grinder and uh, put in some onion powder, paprika, oregano, powder, put in these spices, and you make these lovely salt substitutes for yourself. Uh, so you're, you're not a slave to that salt shaker. And here's good old Benson's. I have no stock in the company. I have no connection with these folks, but I do love this spice. It, uh, it's nutritional yeast with some dried herbs. It tastes salty, but there's no salt, there's no sodium in it. And uh, oh, it's delicious. And uh, really it's helped me to, to keep my hands off that salt shaker. And uh, so you can you order it off the internet, go to Benson Way Seasonings, and uh, God bless uh, Miss Benson. She did a great job there. So if you've got to use salt, add it to the table. Um, people say, oh, we, we, we took the salt shakers off your table. Actually, that's the one place you got control over uh, the salt, salt in your diet. You, you, at the Chinese restaurant, at the Italian restaurant, got no control over the, the salt already in the food. But, if you, but cook without the salt and then add it on the surface of your veggies. When those salt crystals hit your tongue, you get a big salty flavor with uh, very little actual sodium. Uh, food sprinkles go a long way. Uh, if you want to use uh, tamari or soy sauce, look at me, choose the low sodium variety uh, and you can dilute it a little bit with water. A few spritzes go a long way. But beware, as Dr. Goldhammer would tell us, you start adding salt, beware of the, ple of the pleasure trap. Uh, you, these, the salt, the sugar, the fat releases a big dopamine surge in your brain. Ooh, let's have some more of that. And you wind up chasing the dopamine release in your brain and that's the pleasure trap. So, so that's why a true north had no added salt, no added sugars, no added oils, because he doesn't want to unleash the demon of the pleasure trap on you. So if you're adding salt, beware you're in tiger country, but if you can control it, less is more. So the dose makes the poison, as the toxicologists tell us. When it comes to any salt in any form, less is more. Hey there, vegan family. Thank you so much for watching our video clip. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, tell all your family and friends. We really want to help this channel grow, so that would be amazing. And also, if you really, really liked it and you'd like to purchase the entire video, you can head to the link in our description box below and you can purchase this video or get the collection from the cruise. So thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful day and also hope we get to see you aboard the ship very soon. Aloha. Whoop, 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 whoop.